everyone welcome back to my channel so I wanted to make another review uh, for you guys on another wallet that I have um, it is the largest wallet I have in my whole collection and um, I have a very small wallet collection not um, very much I wouldn't say card cases are really like a wallet but like a full-on um, actual wallet and this here I'm reviewing my Chanel classic flap wallet in the tri it's in a trifold uh, style um, and it matches very well with my classic flap here um, they're just different colors and different um, leather type but they do go together so well another comparison um, with both of them so it's kind of like a mini me version of the um, classic flap and I love using this uh, wallet with um, this handmade just because they look so good together um, and I want to say the patent leather from Chanel is absolutely amazing um, at first I did see a whole lot of fingerprints and everything on this little piece but um, as you can see I've, I've had this for um, since last August so it's coming up to a year almost and it like the fingerprints you don't see it at all anymore after a whole while and I just put hand cream on and my fingers can't imprint onto the little item here unless I have really dirty or like sticky hands it will pop up but you can always like buff that out with like a with a soft cloth so um the wear and tear on this is absolutely there's no wear and tear on this you can't even tell if it's worn or it still looks brand new till the day since the day I got it um although the the puffing of the of the um patent leather here has 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 inflated a little bit so it's not as bubbly as like um it was when I first got it but it will happen eventually to all wallets because you're manhandling a lot it's in your bag it's sitting down either on its back or on its side just um it's always it's something's always going to happen to your wallet inside your bag because there's because you're moving around and this is like constantly bashing around into your handbag so and there's no scratches on it except for the little hardware piece here um there's no scratches on it at all um the aging some people um are scared about the aging i've seen some um classic flap um handbags where the patent ones start to have like little cr little creases and little um like it just starts to age a lot so but i don't see any problems with that in the slgs um i have i have another slg or the um, card case in red in um, patent leather as well and there's absolutely no creasing in that at all so um and but i think because these are smaller pieces and these are a little bit more durable a little bit more reinforced because of the interior it's harder for the patent leather to start creasing and, and everything so this little piece here will last a very very long time there's no scratches or or anything in in this on this little um guy here um sometimes in the back here depending on what purse i'm carrying i will put my metro pass here but because um because it's um the back here because the back here is still a patent any car that has like a sheen or like a sheen to it will like stick onto the um little onto the patent leather so it will be hard for you to um to take it in and out so um but luckily the back of the card is a matte finish so it will so it, it doesn't have that um like sheen over it so i will put um the mat the back of the card onto the back of the wallet because um the back of this little pocket here is just leather um so it will so i'll just pop it in there and it's easy for me to take it in and out whereas if i were to turn it it gets it gets like stuck in there a little bit and it sticks and i don't want that 
I don't want anything sticking onto the um, wallet so um, but I do have to say for patent leather do not get it in light colors because you will start to see the edging especially to um, discolor especially you turn into this like yellowy orangey type color so I would stay away from light colors dark colors are the way to go if you want um, a dark but if you want a light color but not like it, you don't want the little um, wears to show I would probably get red red or green would probably be be the best because um, they're bright in its own way, but they're not, you won't be able to see the little cracks or like the little discoloration uh, in the seams or whatnot. Um, now I'll show you the inside. So it has, so it's a snap button here. Um, there's silver hardware as well. So it's Chanel Paris just around the little button here. And then here is the top. Um, this here is unfortunately not a pocket. I kind of wish that was a pocket. That would have been amazing, but it's not a pocket. So you have to open it again. And it has six card slots here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six card slots here. I don't fill it up all the way because I don't want to stretch this leather piece here. So I have um, like my important cards, my debit, credit, and ID cards. And then um, behind here is another slot here. I just keep another card there, um, like another points card in there, and then behind that is another pocket. And there I just have my insurance and my um, health card in there. And then just in there, set, uh, above that, it says Made in Italy. And then I'll take this out and I'll show you why I have this here. Um, I think I I, I showed I told you guys why I have this here in my other in uh, my wall Chanel wallet collection video, but um, I'll give a more in depth um, um, tell all about it. So if I take that out, here is another pocket here, just underneath the coin compartment here, and the coin compartment is also another snap closure. So this, the flap here is leather, and the little button here says Chanel Paris, and the interior is actually a fabric lined interior. So and it's a matching blue interior as well here. So I I keep like my coins in here. If 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 I have if I don't have a lot of coins, I will put it in here. If I do have a lot of coins, I will put it in like a small little card case um, that I usually carry with um, inside my handbag. So it's that, and then. Behind there is another pocket here. This is where I keep all my receipts and everything in here. And that this back here is also all um, um, fabric lined as well with the same color blue in here. Um, and then you flip it onto its side and here there is only one main compartment here. And it's also lined in uh, the blue interior or fabric. And then here is like the authenticity sticker here. Um, I, I do carry like bills in here, but sometimes when I'm in a rush, I'll just put, I'll just stash, um, my receipts in here. Um, mainly those like debit, credit card, machine, long skinny receipts in there. So I'll put that in here and there is like on the opposite side or the bottom of it, there is like a little hole for, I guess, for the, for the wallet to be able to fold properly. And yeah, that's basically it about this wallet. And it also, and like I said, it has a back pocket. So um, it has lots of compartments in here, um, just as much as the handbag version itself. So it's I love using this as a um, a travel wallet because it has because of the compartments. You have your important cards here. You ha you can stash more cards behind here. Um, and then you can um, stash like receipts in here and, and coins as well and also bills obviously and there's this other back pocket that you have an option of using this for as well for more receipts or something um, but I from for me uh, um, because this little the, these uh, card slots here Especially the cards itself will start to imprint onto the flap of this coin case here. So I put this little 
um, notebook here. I This is a moleskin notebook. It's just a plain um, um, soft cardboard um, little notebook from moleskin. You get three in one pack. So it, um, and so it will be a while for me to actually get a new full pack of these, but I use this mainly to cover that part so it doesn't imprint, so the cards don't imprint onto the leather. Um, sometimes I do use it for when I need to write something down, so I will put that in there. So what I usually do is I split the little notebook in half, and then I will just slip one, the, like one half into the little um, slot behind the coin coin case there and then I'll just put it over and voila that's that's it um this is the same size as like a passport so you can put your so instead of having a notebook or something you can put your passport on here instead um it's actually a perfect size um for that reason and um, I think that's also the reason why they put this here. So you can put like a, your checkbook in here as well. But um, I use this mainly for um, passport or a or for this notebook here. Um, and yeah, that's basically all I can say about this wallet. The the leather inside is calfskin, or yeah, it's calfskin, so it's not lambskin at all. It's a very smooth calfskin it won't ever um it's, it's not as delicate as the lambskin wallet so if i scratch it like this there's no you can't there's no wear on it at all so it's and the it's very very smooth i love um the feeling of this wallet even when it's closed it it just feels great to hold in your hand and you can also carry it as a clutch so i'll just show you a little mod shot here so oops it looks like and I have um, gone out um, for lunch with this just as like a, a, a clutch because this is all I need so I'll, I'll grab my cell phone and this and this is all I need for like a short hour and then I'll, I'll come back to the office and um, yeah so this is a great little piece for um, for everyday use as a wallet I highly suggest um, that you guys or or anyone to get a patent piece from Chanel because it will wear so nicely. It will um, hold off nicer than any um, leather. Um, I pr I've seen what a lambskin version of this looks like or, or looks like over time and it just it doesn't look good at all. So um, and even in caviar it will it, it'll last a little bit longer but um, you will start to see some more scratches on our caviar leather except for um, patent leather where you don't see any scratches. Over time the hand the fingerprints will will uh, not show up on dark prints anymore and even the the stickiness of and the, and the stickiness of the patent leather will start to die down based on the oils from your hand as you keep using it. Um, and yeah, it's a perfect piece. Um, if you have any more questions about this little, um, this wallet, please leave it in the comments below. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Catherine is a cat, to um, see any updates. I update my Instagram more often than my YouTube channel just because it, um, I'm, I'm on the go a lot. So it's, and it's easier to upload and update things on Instagram than on YouTube. So um and also subscribe i want to thank all my subscribers again thank you so much and have a great day bye, -bye.